Hi everybody, on this video we will be finishing up our endangered elephant masks. Art with Miss A. All right, we are gonna cut the back side of our elephant and pull out that round piece of newspaper, folding over the edges and masking, taping them down. Now we're gonna give our elephant some texture by using that same paper mache glue mixture and water. And we're going to just brush on some of that on the whole entire elephant until you get a nice thin layer. And then we're going to use our tissue paper and you can use recycled tissue paper. I got this out of an old uh, gift that was given to me. And I'm going to just simply lay it over the gluey kind of surface area, making sure I leave some wrinkles on the trunk and around the face, because this is what an elephant really looks like if you look at the texture of its skin. It has a lot of wrinkles on it. So I'm just laying more glue and then laying the tissue back down. And I did this in sections. I did the head first and let it dry. Then I did the ears, doing the same exact thing, brushing on a coat of the paper mache glue and water mixture. And you can also use flour and water. I didn't tell you that before, but that also works if you don't have Elmer's or white glue. And then I simply put torn pieces of tissue paper over the ears and wrapped it around and glued it around the back side. You won't see the back, but just make sure that none of the pieces are showing around the outer edge. And I just make sure everything is glued down nice and neat. And I'm gonna do one last piece on the end of the trunk, folding it under. And then after that, you are going to let that dry completely before we will paint it. So now that the elephant's dry, I am now taking some acrylic paint, white and black, and mixing it together to make a nice gray color. And I'm going to just brush that over the entire surface of my elephant, making sure to get into all those wrinkles that I made with the tissue paper and paper mache glue water mixture. And I'm gonna even go into the eye sockets, make sure everything has a nice uh, gray uh, layer of color. So I'm just about finished with the first layer of gray. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to now give some shadowing with some darker gray where the light would be less. And then I'm gonna add white to my gray to make a lighter gray and kind of dry brush, meaning I'm just gonna kind of just brush over some areas where the elephant would probably have like light shining on it, like the forehead and maybe the top of the ears. So here I am brushing some of the whitest gray on top of the forehead and giving it a little lighter tone coming down the trunk. And then I'm also going to do the tips of the ears, just brushing on a little bit more light gray. And you don't want to add water when you're doing this, you want the paint to be right out of the tube for that. Alright, now that the skin is done on the elephant, I'm going to focus on the eyes. And I'm going to paint the whole eyeball white with the same black and white paint that I did make the gray out of. And then after that, I'm going to add a black dot in the center of the eyeball and that will be the pupil. And there 
there she is, my majestic endangered paper mache elephant mask. Elephant numbers have dropped by 62% over the last decade, and they could be mostly extinct by the end of the next decade. An estimated 100 African elephants are killed each day by poachers seeking ivory, meat, and body parts, leaving only 400,000 remaining. You ask, what can you do? You can educate yourself. OneGreenPlanet.org is a great place. You can also share your artwork and explore the mighty elephants of Africa and Asia on the internet. If you can imagine it, you can make it, and you can change your world. Goodbye for now. See you next time.